Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? So today is March 8th, 2023, which means that it is International Women's Day. So I wanna first start off by saying happy International Women's Day for all the amazing women in this world. You know, no matter what background you come from, no matter what career you hold, no matter what you do, this is your day and it's a day for you to remind yourself what an amazing person you are and to reflect on all the accomplishments you've done, not on a personal level, but also on a community level and for those around you. So go women, so proud of you and always remember it's important to encourage each other, right? And to uplift each other. So happy International Women's Day to all the beautiful women out there. For those of you who are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I post videos every Wednesday and I post amazing videos, videos on law school, on sometimes the law. I also pro post fun videos like prank videos on my family <laughs> and friends and I also post challenge videos. Um, but what I'm going to be doing now for the next few weeks is post videos related to one's career advancement so what i mean is you know interview tips i have posted a couple interview tips videos in the past so check those out but i'm planning on doing more and for those of you who are new to my channel i'm a lawyer here in dallas texas and i recently just launched my own law firm and i'm talking so recent as just last week exactly one week ago so you guys go check out my law firm law office of somia george um, but I'll put the details in the description box. But so as a business owner, I've learned so much along this process and I will continue to learn new things and new concepts. And I want to share that with you all because I'm a true believer that we need to help each other grow, right? Like personally, professionally, on all levels. So I want to share my experiences with you, tell you about my mistakes I made so that you don't make the same mistakes. So today's video is going to be about a life skill that every person should possess in order to advance in their career. And it's none other than, just as the title says, how to network successfully at networking events. This includes conferences, you know, these big events where you go, you meet people, you maybe attend, you know, like a panel, um, and it's about how to start a conversation, how to go pass out your business cards, meet people, make connections, and make, make business connections that could eventually also turn into friendships. So actually, earlier this month in March, I attended an annual women's conference and it was great, but it was also nerve wracking for me because this is the first conference I went to by myself as a business owner and trying to spread news and information about my brand new law firm. So this was a big deal for me. And I had it all. I mean, I was nervous, I was anxious, I was sweating. I was like, oh my gosh, can I do this? But you guys, I did it. And I want to share with you tips that will help you network and calm your nerves the next time you have to go to a networking event and pass out your business cards. So I'll be touching upon three important tips that you can take with you to your next networking event. So without further ado, let's jump right into the first tip, which is none other than talk less and listen more. So you might be thinking, well, how am I gonna network if I talk less? <laughs> so what I mean by this is Talk less about yourself when you first come up and meet somebody and listen more to what they have to say. So for example, you're at a networking event, you know, you go up to somebody or you just bump into somebody, instead of just right off the bat handing them your business card and telling them what you do and everything and overwhelming them, just ask them questions, show interest in what they do in their life, you know, make them feel valued instead of overwhelmed and forced about you so what you can do is ask them for example what do you do for work 
like what title do you have oh what does your work entail where where is your work located what city have you been in texas or whichever state all your life or have you moved around and then once you start asking them all these questions and showing interest in you know what they do they will naturally start asking you what you do and actually be engaged and be listening to what you do and that's when you'll have the platform to talk about your title what you do if you open up a business great start talking about your business and that is the perfect gateway to hand out your business card and so if you notice what you did is you started a conversation l talking less listening more and focusing on the person you're communicating with you're giving them importance over you which is a great sign which is a humbling sign which is what you want to do and then naturally if they really care about you they will of course ask you you know what you do and then you can talk about yourself so that was tip number one tip number two is going to be about physical mannerisms and how you present yourself to those around you so when you go to a networking conference it's not only important that you know how to talk to somebody you know and keep the conversation going it's also as equally important to mind your physical expressions and what you do like you know your expressions overall so what i mean by this is when somebody is talking to you you know don't be looking around like and trying to find out and figure out who you're going to talk to next no if somebody's talking to you look at them in the face look at them in the eyes and pay attention to what they're saying and then when you do that that will make that person feel better and make them think that okay this person is genuinely interested in listening to me and they're making me feel valued. I like this person, right? So p make sure you your eyes aren't wandering. Your eyes are looking directly at who is speaking to you. The second physical mannerism you want to focus on is your body language. So, you know, are you like fidgeting around with your hands or maybe like your legs or whatever? Don't do that, you know, just stay put don't do not fidget because that can be a sign of nervousness anxiousness you know that you're uncomfortable so just stay put and you know stand straight stand tall sit straight sit tall because your physical appearance also goes towards your confidence level and you want to be confident you want to tell people that you know what you're doing you are confident in yourself and you have something amazing to offer and also with physical mannerisms to show that you are engaged in the other person's conversation is you know like you can nod in between or like say like comment in between and make sure you ask them questions because and follow up questions to what they're saying because that will make them feel you know like like valued and that like okay this person actually wants to hear me out so all these are very important you guys with starting a conversation and maintaining a conversation at a networking event so the third and final tip i want to talk to you about is when you go to a networking event you should go with a goal in mind and what i mean by that is that you should go with the goal of telling yourself okay this is the number of people I want to meet and make a professional relationship with. So that could be any number. I mean, it could be one, it could be two people, it could be three people, it could be 15 people. That is your choice because only you know your personality, how you are, you know your comfort zone, you know, you know the number that could push you a little bit out of your comfort zone leave that number up to you but go to every conference every networking event with a number in mind so for example in my case when i attended this annual women's conference i went with the goal of meeting at least five people to engage in conversation with at least five people and pass out my business cards to them and so keeping that in mind i attended the entire event and I left the event with passing out my business cards and engaging in conversation and meeting people more, and I'm talking more than five people, maybe double that number actually. And so setting a goal like that 
and if you meet it or if you exceed it, you just feel so good and you feel so proud of yourself for getting out of your comfort zone and doing that. So to recap today's topic on how to successfully network at a networking event, tip number one is to talk less, listen more. Tip number two is to mind your physical mannerisms. And tip number three is to go to an event with a number in mind. And this number is going to be the number that you set as a goal to meet and engage in conversation with, connect with on LinkedIn, and pass out your business cards to. Okay, so you guys, next time you go to a networking event, if you practice these three tips, I guarantee you, I can almost guarantee you, right, that you will make at least one amazing friend out of that conference. And I promise you that you will be so proud of yourself after the event because you just did something amazing for yourself, for your career growth, you went out of your comfort zone, met amazing people, and you did amazing. So you guys, I hope this video helped. Share this video with your family, with your friends, for anybody who you know um, gets the jitters before they have to go to a conference and especially by themselves, you guys. I have been there. I recently went to a conference by myself and it was nerve wracking, I'm telling you. Ask my husband. I was nervous, but after the event, I was so happy and I'm like, wow, you know what? That's not so bad. So I just wanna remind you, you can do the same thing even better, right? So keep these tips in mind, practice them and watch your career grow, watch your business grow and but always remember to stay humble right always stay humble so you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you like this video and to stay tuned for more amazing informative videos like this you guys everything i share with you it's raw sincere information to help you grow on a personal level and a professional level so hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next week. And thank you so, so much for those of you who have been watching my videos and tuning in. I appreciate you so much, okay? So I'll see you guys next week. Have a beautiful week.